Thank you so much for stopping in. Today, I'm going to do a um, uh, intuitive channeling for the uh, the weekend energy. Today is um, October 13th. It is Friday the 13th, and so this this reading, uh, this transmission is going to be for October 3rd, 4th, and 5th. I just want to remind you that um, a lot of times the energy precedes the week. The, the weekend precedes today and it goes uh, it'll extend into the following week sometimes uh, so if if whatever's coming through this uh, this channeling today if it if you started noticing it a couple of days ago then um, that's because this energy you know is pulled in and and extended forward once in a while so today is an intuitive channeling for the weekend energy of the 13th, 14th, and 15th. I'm using this set of uh, oracle cards. <laughs> it's called the tea leaf. We used it last weekend, and I, I liked it. I think it worked out really good. So let's see how our messaging comes in today. Um, we'll get started and see what happens here. Okay, uh, the first card... Actually, before I do that, there were two other cards that came up. I'll show them to you now. We'll discuss them uh, when it becomes when it when it comes to that. You know, later on in the the transmission, these two cards fell out. So I'm going to put them right here just so that we keep I keep them in mind. First card is the eye, and I'm I'm going to do the the receiving the channel right now. Um. The things that you have been wondering about that you couldn't quite put your finger on, that you couldn't quite grasp, are coming into view. You're able to see them more clearly now. You are seeing them more clearly because the evidence, the evidence is starting to present itself in a clear fashion, not in an obscure fashion or not in a clouded fashion or hidden fashion, in a clear fashion where you don't have the doubt. If it's, um, if it's a personal issue, if it's a work issue, if it's a, a love issue, all, all aspects of your life are coming into clarity. And you will see the answers that you're seeking. And then the card says, this is me talking. It says, trust your intuitions. So all these things that have been happening kind of along the way that you've been wondering about, that you weren't really sure about, trust, trust yourself. Trust that um, you were on the right track because now I'm getting the transmission again, because now that clarity is coming to the forefront. The next card is a wall. Yeah, and so the path, this is my transmission, the path that you've been taking to get to this point may have taken a few twists and turns may have been uphill, may have been downhill, but you've always been secure in your path and experiencing the things along the way, experiencing the things that you needed to experience along the way. So when the clarity comes, you will understand it. When that clarity starts, when that clarity comes in, it makes sense because you've had these different experiences along the way as you've been walking along your path different uh, occur different things different experiences different things people you meet they've all they've all got that's has been happening to you along your way and because that's happened the clarity it makes sense it's not a question anymore it's like that's it 
that's why, you know, that's why I met that person. That's why I was delayed in this project that I'm doing, or that's why I didn't understand what was going on at that time because you you're now given that that visual the eye the ability to see the clarity to see and then your next card for this weekend is the scissors i'm receiving the message that if you have two things if you have things that you no longer that no longer suits your life cut it away remove it get rid of whatever it is that is not suiting you and the other side is you have a picture and you cut out the best part you have a picture and you cut out the best part. You cut out the part that suits you the best. So you've got this big old, this big picture of, let's say, a landscape. And then there's some flowers here. There's a tree. There's some birds and all that. And you're really focused on the earth energy of a tree. You're being asked to take that picture and cut out that beautiful tree. Because that's what that's what is important is the beauty of the earth energy and the tree in that scenario that we just gave you. Cut away what you do not know what no longer serves you and cut out the most the most beautiful part of the picture. Your next card is cobweb. The light is really changing, and I'm sorry about the the way the light's going. The cobweb is also a double sided message for you. This is my transmission. The cobweb can help you get from one spot to the other, and have a strong foundation doing so it can also keep out the things that you no longer want around you and also protect you the cobweb can also tie you up the all the cobweb can also tie you up And make you un not be able to move. You know, it makes you, oh, I can't, I can't go there. And you might be needing to face something that you do not want. You never want to walk into, this me, never want to walk into a cobweb. I'm going to continue the transmission. The cobweb may be what you need to face that is sticky that is undesirable, possibly, that makes you resist facing something, resist talking to somebody, resist carrying on in your life, that can do it to you. So you are advised at this point to recognize that it's not always hard it is not always hard to face the difficult challenges, the difficult things that you need to do. It's just a matter of facing them. Facing them. And then the final one is a man. Uh -oh. The only thing I'm getting from this card is male energy. I think we had male energy last week, but it's that masculine energy that might be creating the resistance. There may be a male figure that's 
that's standing between you and what you want to do. But there is a male energy that can be, depending on your situation, it can be a negative holding you back. It could be a positive letting you stride forward in very strong ways. It's also some advice that you we are giving you that being too headstrong in going in your own direction may not be the answer. If you have been hesitant, use that male energy to move you forward. If you have been domineering and dominant and just stomping around getting your and wanting to get your own way, then you need to cool that down. Um, let's see, there's two, these two cards that fell out. Here's the nest card. There's lots of clouds going by today, this morning. And a hat. Um, let me see what I'm getting from these. The... Put on your hat and wear it. Put on your hat and wear it proudly. You are what you are. And your hat, this hat represents you committing to your path. This weekend is a good start. This weekend is a formidable start for you to begin. And when you do that, you second. all aspects of your life begin to smooth out. Your home life is good. Your work life is good. Your physical life is good. Your health life is good. Because you're standing in your own strength. That's all I'm getting. I'm going to take the pictures of, uh, you know, a picture of this layout and I will put it on the Patreon in the attachment center. Before I do that, I wanted to read a couple of these cards. The I card says psychic ability, trust your intuition. The wall, it says misunderstandings. And in this transmission, it seemed like it was telling you, you haven't had any misunderstandings. You have been going along in your on your path. And the things that have happened, oh, yeah. Yeah, the things that have happened, you might have misunderstood them then. But once you get to now, you're like, you say, wow, it wasn't a misunderstanding. I really did do go through that, did that for a reason. So, yeah, this is interesting. The scissors card. It says disappointment in some affair. Cut out what you don't want. The cobweb says protected from negative forces beyond your control. The man, it says dealings or relationship with a man. This one kind of focused on the masculine energy. If it's over, if you're being too aggressive or not aggressive enough, use the male energy if you're not aggressive enough, calm down the, if the energy if you are uh, being too aggressive. The nest, the nest card says, an emotional, secure, loving family is important to you. And when you wear your own hat, you know, it's saying that when you wear your own hat, um, the, the things kind of line up in a good way, the hat says you will be playing a different role. 
you're going to be playing the role of who you are. Because you may have been covering it up. You may have been putting it aside. You may have been not paying attention to it. So this weekend is really a very pivotal, pivotal month for us. And um, because today is Friday the 13th, just use the 13, the number 13 to benefit you. It doesn't have to be negative. Well, as a matter of fact, I, I recall maybe a long time ago, uh, we did something on the number 13 and it did say that it's not a bad number. It's just been made to be bad. Enjoy your weekend. That's all I'm getting. Um, enjoy your weekend. And um, please like and share my videos. And please subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, stay tuned because there's a lot more to come.